85 of your vacuum stores in the area have come through this one store here. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Oh, I remember as a kid, most of them uh, would come in and uh, they were salesmen on the road and they'd bring their repairs here. My father would uh, do their repairs and they start building up on the repairs. Business got good and they said, hey, you know, why don't I open the store? How old are you, Ed? Oh, man. Well, I'll probably something. That's, that's a military secret. I don't tell it. Man. Military secret? You aren't going to tell me how old you are? Well, I, I don't want it on no record or nothing like that, no. I'm close to eight and a zero. Very close. Close to eight and a zero, huh? Mm -hmm. There he is. One more year, a few more months, I'll be there. How long you been knowing me? How long I know you? Yeah. Jesus. Now what was Quite I doing when you first met me? Just doing this, right? See the yeah, idea? The prongs are spread now. What you gotta do is give me two cords too to go in there. You get a male and a female. Maybe we can take them. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. Now, you know how much these are though? These holes no, are how much? Well, that's what they I tell you. Oh, that's what I tell you, man. This lamp has been crying ever since I know it. You put a silver spoon in your mouth, you'll start to cry. Uh, let's see what part. No, yeah, but uh, we want to get you in your good mood because this is television, Barney. Yeah. I'm aware of that. How long you been coming here? Quite a while. Is that right? Oh, yeah. Do they harass you every time you come here? Once, naturally, of course. <laughs> <laughs> they always do. All the time. Give you a hard time, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. How come you come back? Well, I, I like them. That's why they're a good friend of mine. And they're good customers to right. me. All right. He, he treats me right, and I treat him right. That's why I buy coffee for him. So, that's why I used, when I brought him, broke him in, when he was come, come out, before he went to school, I bring him to the shop here. Had him running around to the shop here. He would turn over. Listen, listen, look, listen son. one here, go out the other. I, yeah, I said, look, son, don't, don't do that no more now. <laughs> he kept messing around. I said, you're getting on my nerve, man. Don't do that no more. So all I had to do was say, go get me that bump and bring it. He know what I'm talking about. Ed Hoover had a bump about that long out of rubber, plastic. I was that, the first case of it, child abuse in New Jersey. <laughs> if they knew how he beat me when I was young, a youngster, you know, it was sad. He used to beat me with, uh, no, no. Vacuum uh, cleaner hose? Uh, no, the no. vacuum cleaner bumper. Uh, Thick, heavy bumpers like that. You hit a mule with that, you kill him. No. You knock him out. So I, I I said to him, I said, go get that bump and bring it. He go back and put the last, smallest one he can find. He's like, no, no, that's not the right one. Go get the right one. He go get the right one. I said, now turn it back it up here to me. And he'll run off. So right, I'm, I'm not going to put my hand on you. Back it back up here. And he'll run off. I said, now go do, do that thing. So then when the customer come in, I told him, I said, look, son, go out your and ask me, Yes, ma'am, can I help you? Or yes, sir, can I help you? I said, don't. But he run to the bathroom. Every time a customer come in, I get three or four customers in. I'm waiting on it. People standing there waiting. I look around for him. He's. And I go. I said, wait a minute. I go back in the back. He's in the bathroom. The door locked. So I pick up and go here. I said, what you doing? I said, I sit up in the bathroom. So I go to the bathroom. Why you don't go to the bathroom until the customer comes? So I told him after I got him alerted. I said, now you go to the bathroom. Make sure you don't have to go to the bathroom. Everybody come. You walk around and can you help him? So that's why he got started in the vacuum cleaner. See, because he was nervous. No. I sold my first vacuum. Well, I don't know why. Seven years well, why would you we run used it? to be uh, here. Let me get over here. We used to be up here on Powerson Avenue. In fact, he was the first black uh, businessman on the main street here in Inglewood. And uh, he had went out of town, and I was there. I never forget. These people were from Tenafly, and it was an old Mall 30 vacuum clean Electrolux then. And I think it was $22, $24, $26. And they wanted to buy a vacuum. And I demonstrated this machine by seeing, watching him. <clears throat> and I was, the whole time I was scared. Because I figured they said, no, we don't want the machine. I was shaking. And when they said, yeah, we'll take it, I, I almost gave them the machine without taking the money. I was so excited, you know. Sure. And from that day forward, I said, well, I'm going to become number one salesman in the country. And I pushed forward from there. Beatings and all, you know. I used to get a lot of beatings, true. And like I told him, there's a lot of things I used to do when I was a kid. I almost burnt that store down up there. 
Oh yeah, time. but they was the kids were there. Uh, you gotta well, I had nothing to do. I was in the store by myself. And I never forget I took a back then we used to wash the motors out in gas. Yeah. Napter. And uh well napter. napter. Five gallon thing. So he's out of town and the buffing wheel has lint all over it, you know, fine lint. So I'm back there, I'm trying to do it. I said, if I take a match, I took the top off. Meanwhile, the fumes are building up. Mm -hmm. And I'm not realizing this. Yeah. I'm a kid. So I said, now if I strike the match, throw it in there, and I smell it real fast. So, God, this is excitement. I got something to do. I said, no, no, I better, I better hold it like this and throw the match or hold it. I said, right hand. Meanwhile, the fumes are building up. When I decide to do it, I strike the match and boom! Meanwhile, he had told me about cleaning out the buffering room, and I never cleaned this room, buffering room uh, out. Man, that fire shot up all over that place. I said, oh, God, he's going to kill me. And that was the one day I cleaned that buffering room out. I cleaned. He came back wanting to know what happened. I told him I cleaned up the buffering room. I didn't did tell him I had almost burnt it down. No, well, you say it clean. You did a good job. Oh, yeah, oh, I did beautiful. a good job. <laughs> now, I got to ask him a question. Okay. Now, you got the meat in here we can eat, right? Yeah. What, is there meat up in here? Yeah. Okay. I'll help you guys if you want me to. Okay. Well, no, it's, uh, no, no. I can sure? have the lobsters. Let me see that. They're eat, dead. Eat. They're oh. cooked. They, they're good eating now. You talking about some meat. I know that's well, good what, meat. You don't eat nothing here. Yeah. Yeah, you do. Yeah, and here. Yeah, be damn. All up in here. But where's the good. dead man supposed to be? Well, that's in the shrimp. That's inside there. You clean them. You eat all this stuff in here? Yeah, the meat that's in this white meat. Yeah. Man. All that is good eating. This here good guy. God, I bet that cat that sucker could give you a fit if you get hold to your life. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, see that good meat there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Me and my buddy got a boat and we went out there. We weren't getting no bite, so I took my freshwater pole, baited it up, and thawed it out, cast it out, boom. And left had no, I didn't have no cork on it. And this left pole kept going down, looked like going down, and I pulled. I said, God done it, I done got home. I wind and wind and wind, that pole just bent like this here. I pull, I wind and wind, so I turn it straight, wind and wind and wind, and I said, Bow! Wind it in, no hook. I said, I broke no call. So I wasn't thinking about it, it was a fish, made it up my salt water, and I throwed it right back out there. And he grabbed it. Oh man, he fought, he fought, he fought. When I brought him in, it's something like that. And man, you talk about something good. I brought him home, we cleaned him and cooked him. You talk about something was good. I said, oh my God, I can eat things all day long. Man, a bass, if a bass would taste like that, I would go up there and do nothing, catch butt fish for bass. Uh, another thing we'll do later on, what I'd like to do with you too, go into these areas and really come out with a real true story hey how you doing of uh, what it's like to uh, be black and uh, you know from a black point of view see yep. not yep. from uh, the media or white or whatever yeah usually what I do like you know you get some one of them pesky customers like that you strip the machine down like this here all this, I know what I'm doing. They don't know I know what I'm doing. And you say to them, I have to get all these screws in here. Oh, God. Now, how do I put this thing back together? And you can imagine their gut feeling that they're having. I know years ago, I had a, a Cadillac, my first Cadillac that I bought. And the motor was bad. But this friend of mine's mechanic. So he told me, don't worry, he can fix it. So I got a price of about 300000 He'll do the whole motor for twenty dollars. I told him I didn't believe it. This guy had my motor stripped down in the street, every nut, bolt, part. And I said, "Wow!" I said, "You really know what you're doing." I said, "How many cars have you done like that?" He said, "This is the first one." <laughs> I almost died. <laughs> I almost died. I said, "Oh my God!" See, this is a new fan, but it's plastic now. Yeah. As opposed to the old metal fans. Okay, let's start putting this guy together now.
one thing my mother used to tell me, God bless her soul, poor thing. She used to stay on my case. I guess maybe because I was the only boy. I had four sisters. I was the oldest child. And she would stay on my case that I am good and I can do it. There's whatever I want to do, I can do. Anybody can do anything if they put their mind to it and they, they're shown the proper way yeah. and given a little attention. A little encouragement and, a little and encouragement. And, and the whole thing, too, is love. And like I always say, everybody in the world, I don't care who they are, white, black, green, whatever, is crying out in some way by their actions saying silently, hey, I want to be loved. Ebenezer Scrooge, in his way, he was saying, I want to be loved, but he, you know, if you know the story. Yeah. And uh, the ultimate thing here is at the end, this is all he wanted. It's just like everybody, all of us, I don't care who we are, the uh, alcoholic, the drug addict, uh, whoever, the whole thing here is I want to be loved. That's all they want. And they, if they receive that, and if we all gave that, it'd be a better place to live. But see, we're on the wrong track. Everybody's trying to, to smother someone or get over on somebody or beat somebody. And that's not where it's at. It's really not where it's at. Okay, now. You're wondering, I got some extra pieces left over here. These are no good, okay? This is a bulb that's shot. This here, I saved extra one, because see, this is what they call a washer that goes around the fan. Oh, they yeah. don't need all of them, okay? Yeah. So I saved them, because these are very hard to come by. Oh, so yeah. this is how I build up my stock. I steal from other people's machines and build up my stock. Supply. Yeah, and you have extra pieces left over all the time. Yeah, I build up a stock like that, you know. And, uh, then sometimes you take away from the machine, it runs better. Maybe they put too many screws and bolts in them from at the factory, you know. Okay. Now we'll see what we did here. Alright. Maybe we are. Another master job by... Robert West. Let's put a light bulb in there. And this way we can see the achievement here. Now this is a 45-year-old machine or more. That's music to the years. Now let's put these screws back in here. in here now, like that, and we get this out, and like that, here's our plate, like that, now we get a little uh, dirt to show you how effective this thing is really going to be, it smells real good, gives them a nice oh, yeah. odor, yeah I can smell it, okay. Now what I do, to show the customer how well the machine is going to clean, I plug this up. Right. Like a brand new machine now. Here we can restore it in a short amount of time. This machine has been made almost, let me wash it down. 